Okay, this video is for people who want to practice all the notes that are in the chords of the basic fiddle keys. So we're going, going to do G, then we'll do D and A. So G major has one sharp, D major two sharps, the F and the C, and A major three sharps, um, F, C, and G. So we're just gonna play every single uh, note in the G chord. So we're gonna start with the G chord um, and the fiddle in first position. So if you play cello or viola, you can um, modify the top notes and play them in the lower octave. So we're just gonna start on G, B, D, and then continue on from there. So G, B, D. G, B, G, D, B, G, D, B, and G. So let's try that in couples. So two notes learned. you can go as fast as you want and then you've outlined all the notes that are possible combinations for playing a G chord okay so now let's do that with the next chord in the circle of fifths so that would be the D major chord with two sharps C sharp and F sharp and we're gonna start the D major chord is D F sharp a so the lowest note in the chord I have on my fiddle is an A. So we start in the A, and then we start on the D. The root note is our second note. So it's D, F sharp, A. So starting on the A. D, F sharp. F sharp, D, A, F sharp, D, A. So same thing, two slur. Four slur, repeating the top note. Okay, now let's do the whole thing in one bow. All right, and the last fiddle chord that we're gonna do is the A major chord, three sharps, F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. So we can start on our A, but this time instead of playing a D chord, we're going to play the A is the root note. So it's A, C sharp, E are the notes in the A major chord. So nice and slow, A, C sharp, E, A, C sharp, E, and then A on top, back to E, C sharp, A, E, C sharp, and we end on an A, two slur, Repeating the top note. Eight slur. Sorry, let me try that again. Eight slur. And we'll go ahead and do the whole thing in one bow. Okay, so those are some ways to practice spelling out the chord 
as an arpeggio. So we're arpeggiating the chord, which we, means we don't play any notes together. We just take each note separately. All right, I hope that helps with your chords and also getting just a map of your fingerboard and where uh, the notes are in first position of these chords. Okay, see you in the next video.